Can the pigsty ship in a man? Ignored. Hello, you guys. Hope you're having a lovely day. I'd say good morning, but it's like I don't know what time. It's bright, man. I'm pretty sure it's like five o'clock. It's bright. I'm well confused. I thought it was in the dark out here. Okay, it's ten to five. Ten to five, and it's still kind of light outside, man. This is good. This is good, it means I can work later. <laughs> because we can't work in the dark. I can cover rain, I can cover snow as long as it's not too bad. I can work in the heat, but I can't work in the dark. This, it feels weird. We finished early as well today. I think it was probably finished by about two o'clock, which is the first day like this year really that we finished before like four. And last year we had loads of finishes before four, man. We've been so busy with work. I don't know what's happened this year. Last January was like really quiet. And then this January has gone crazy, man. I mean, I'm happy for it. It's good money. But it's just weird. So, what have you missed? I got up this morning, I went to the gym, I did chest. And I'll tell you about this in a bit. Punch bag. Remind me, guys. I'm going to tell you about the punch bag. So then I got back, had some lunch, and then I took my mum to the park. Um, we, well, I said I took my mum. <laughs> I took Pablo to the park, but my mum wanted me to take Pablo to the park. Uh, because we haven't been able to go in a while because of us working so much lately. I haven't been able to take her. And Pablo, of course. Uh, so we went to the park and had a nice run around and I couldn't record anything because I was holding Pabs and Stacey didn't come. That is a good reason for me to have a GoPro, man. I was thinking as soon as I get a GoPro, I can strap it to Pablo <laughs> and we can like run around the park with Pabs. That would be so fun. I'm just going to grab Stace and then this evening my mum and dad are going to go and watch Paddington 2 at the cinema. So me and Stace are babysitting Pabs. We've just got to sit in the front and I've now been roped into watching Paddington 1 with Stace. I don't doubt that it's going to be good. I just... Like, like you know, you just can't don't feel like watching a film. It keeps being that I can't, I don't don't feel like watching Paddington. I don't know what it is. I'm sure I'll feel different when we've seen it. How rude! She's pulling face at me through the window and not hurrying up. <laughs> Cheeky madam. Um, I've just used window cleaner in my car. That window cleaner I bought the other day, and it's just made the glass ten times more smearing. You know what? I didn't even think about it. I don't even know why I bought window cleaner because. I've got window cleaner, like I've got a clean car, I'm a car validator. I've got expensive window cleaner in my car, in my van, but I just need to bring it in. I've got to bloody faff this up now, it's a right mess. What have we got? What is that? I'm not showing you. What is it? I'm not showing you. What is it? Is this some tat that's ending up at my house or is it actually good? Mine Is it a mate? Oh, it's, it's tat, it, isn't it? It's a frame I got about three years ago, I think, 20. Yeah. Something in it? Well, I put something in that. Oh, you put something in? Oh, what is it? it wasn't anything, What's it? in it? I feel like your room needed a bit extra. Can I guess what it is? No, you can't. It's rude. Is it our proposal picture? No. Is it not? <laughs> that would have been cute. I thought you'd blown it up massive. Damn it! Is it one of your drawings? I'm not telling you. Is it a photo? You. I'm not telling you. Then tell the vlog, I'm not listening. Just tell the no. vlog. No! Tell the vlog. Tell, tell the vlog. So something annoying happened at work. I'm telling you guys as I'm telling Stacey here now. Um, so we finished the first job and uh, driving to the second one. Man, this is gonna take some editing, this is. When I drive, I make long pauses. So we're driving to the second job and uh, like we were look, there was another valetor on the side of the road so we were just looking at this valet and not oh. really paying attention to what was happening. And uh, this wasn't Dad's fault, this just happened. Um, and suddenly there's this mad noise coming like and I thought it was something like from the other side of the road. Some weird like hissing noise and like some like dum 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 really weird. And Dad was like, that's a puncture. And we got over something and it popped the wheel and like it's making the maddest noise, this weird dum 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 noise. And uh and you could hear it hissing the, the water, the air just coming straight out. That was the smallest dog I've ever seen in my life. Oh I didn't see any. Oh it was tiny. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Yeah, you could hear. Oh. What are you doing? Oh. <laughs> God, me. I wish we had like a front face on that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, Carol. So the air was going. Ah. What are you doing? <laughs> what is going I'm on? I'm having problems. Oh, people just keep pulling out on us. This isn't even my fault for talking to the camera like this. Is all just everybody oh. else's fault, man. God, I might finish my story, and I. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's hissing that we got out, and there was, I don't even know what it was. It was the just massive metal, like, like, like a, like a, like a horseshoe shaped piece of metal sticking out the side of the tyre. Oh. 
and we were like, oh Jesus. Got so, and we weren't that far away from the tyre repair, repair place. Had so, <laughs> we, yeah, and we were like, okay, we're gonna make it there. So we got there, and but we had to stop at the lights at one point, and it must have fell out, the metal thing. Um, oh no. Yeah, I know, somebody else must have it. But anyway, it, um, it fell out. Oh gosh. And we just had a hole then. And before we knew it, it was totally flat. I don't know if you guys have ever driven a car with a flat tire. I didn't know they did this. The whole thing was shaking, the whole van as we were driving. Yeah, I thought it was going dum dum, but it, the whole thing was shaking like it was going to explode. You could feel the back end wobbling like this. It was crazy. Dad was after like, we had to pull over and had to say like, are we going to make it? We were like, like a three minute less. We were probably a one minute drive yeah. from the place. So we had to drive there in the end, like going about 10 miles an hour, just chugging along. And we got there, and I, like the guy was like, he walked over and he just looked at it and he said, "Well, that's not repairable." <laughs> so I'll, got a, I'll put a picture in now of what it looks like. The hole, you could put your thumb in the hole. That's oh, how big it was, no. man. It wasn't just a puncture. But anyway, we're getting that fixed. It cost us forty quid, which was annoying, but it was like whatever. That's had to happen. And um, and he came over with the tire after a bit while he was uh, setting the next one up. He said, "You hadn't just had that. There was two nails in it. That must have been in it for a while. They've just gone in and just like you know sealed themselves." Oh. Yeah, so that tire was screwed anyway. Oh well. That's so sad. Crap happens, doesn't it? It's not too bad, £40. Pound. Yeah, it was alright. But we've got another tire that's got a slow puncture as well. What's wrong with your tyres? Uh, it's because they're just all old. Like, and you drive every single day exactly, for most of the day. We don't do that many miles though. To say, no. you know, to say that we're like a travelling business. Yeah. See you in a bit. See ya. Bye bye. Yeah. That's it, Mum and Dad are going to the cinema. We're puppy dog sitting. I was watching them so sadly. Where are you, Pam? Where are you, Mummy and Daddy going, Pabs? Where are they going, Pabs? Where are they going, buddy? Have they left you? Have they left you all alone with those, those horrible people? Oh, he's a puppy dog, yes, he is. Huh? So, you're going to show me this thing that you can show me that? Yeah, Here we go. So, so, so I don't know what this is, but it's something, okay? It's it's gonna help you. It's gonna help me. Uh -huh. mm. That is so daft. <laughs> <laughs> that is so daft, Bab. <laughs> She's framed a picture of me from something we were doing for her uni work. <laughs> Yeah. Looking, I mean, I, I, do, I do look quite good, don't I? I'm quite slender. Yeah. My chin, my chin and face is looking quite slim. Yeah. I mean, this was just after Christmas as well, one year. Was so it? I was, you know, I was a bit tung. That's a nice photo, isn't it, Bab? Lovely. Were you, were you proud of yourself for doing that? I, I was indeed. Do you like it though? I thought it was oh, I mean, yeah. yeah. If anything, I think here, I'd lost most of my muscle, really. I'm quite slim. I mean, my chest looks right, but my arms don't look too good. It's a bit big, boy. That was a large top. I mean, I mean, the photo is a bit big. I mean, the whole frame thing. Like, where's this gonna go? In your room. Where? <laughs> I've, that's what I've got my cork board for for photos, Baba. I didn't wanna. I didn't want it in such a massive frame. <laughs> I think it's cool. I mean, it's such a cool picture. I didn't wanna. Your mount's creased as well. Oh, this, about, it, this is not very. Uh, this was a twenty p frame and mount. Doesn't have any glass. That's cool. That's cool. Bye, Bab. Bye. Have fun. Bye. Bye. We're leaving Stacey in charge of the sausages because uh, we haven't got eggs. <laughs> See you, man. Bye. Whenever we cook anything in this house, what? Yeah, so, is there any bread? Okay. Whenever we cook anything in this house, there is something that's missing, man. Which is like like eggs. We always always have eggs, and then the day I actually want to use eggs. We don't have any eggs, <laughs> so I'm gonna have to go and buy some eggs. We had sausages. I mean, we don't usually even have sausages, but we've had loads of sausages. And we didn't have any eggs. Please, please let me in, please, please, I've got the eggs, please, please let me in, I want to eat my tea. Hello puppy dog, you gonna let me in? You gonna let me in buddy? Oh my god, I don't know if this picks up on the camera. What has she done man, I've left her in charge of sausages for 10 minutes. 
and she's nearly smoking that friggin' hat. I, I can't see ya. Is that bad? What are you opening that for? It doesn't even go anywhere. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, just keep the smoke in there instead. There's not even a window in there. Oh my god. Is it really that bad? It's really, oh, really smoky. Oh, and you just let everything burn while you're on the boat. Is that good? I'll cut it in half and have a look. Nice, baby. I'd fry the middle as well, though, as well. I'm not used to cooking them, are they? Stacey grills them. Oh, I think. So you've got to fry a sausage to make it right. Yeah. You have, you've got to fry a sausage for it to be right. Oh, look, this out. We've just done this once and it worked, but I feel like he's going to be wise to it now and he's not going to let this happen again. <laughs> Pardon me. Pardon me, I did the better. Good boy. I'm going to plop this on your noggin, alright? Watch. Around the top. Good boy. Good. <laughs> it's not good, I'm properly good with my bit. I don't think I got it. Look, it's lying down. Good boy. <laughs> Good boy, now up, up, <laughs> up. Good boy, what are you doing, chap? Yeah. You ready? <laughs> ready to go outside with your hat? Go on then, buddy. Let's go outside. You need a wee wee. And here's Minnie Muma sleeping in the bathroom where she does. Hello, my lovely girl. Crazy cat. It's so dark, but he's over here somewhere. He's over there. We're about halfway through watching Paddington, and we're absolutely loving it. To be honest, it's freaking hilarious. But the thing is, with this puppy dog, why is he gone? I can't see him. Pabs! He's just, he's just so go like he always wants to go out of the room where he wants to eat or he needs to go out of the back garden. He's so much work that I can't handle it. Pabs! Come here, buddy! Good boy, here he comes! Here he comes! Yes, he does! We're watching Pointless Blog in the front room while Pablo is sleeping by the fire. She's, she's nice. So <laughs> Look at the size of him. <laughs> it was, wasn't it? It was like it was pleasant. He's been lying there for about an hour. He must be cooking. So the other day when I was ordering my um, boxing gloves and my year planner thing that I still haven't put the new one up. I need to do that when I told you this room. Which will be soon. But not today. I ordered a CD as well and I totally forgot about it. So here is my CD. Nice. Uh. Oh. Can I have the boxes downstairs? You can indeed. Can I take it with me tomorrow? You can indeed. Thank you. We need them for repackages, things that we sell on eBay. So I got Tea for the Tillerman by Cat Stevens, which is a great album. And uh, I'm trying to get it in shop, but I keep getting glare on it. There we go. Lovely album. I've been listening to it on uh, Spotify lately. I didn't realise that I liked Cat Stevens until I watched um, Guardians of the Galaxy 2. And Father and Son is in it, in at the end, one of the end scenes. If you've watched the film, you'll know the scene I mean. Don't want to spoil it for anyone. The last scene, that's playing over. And um, I listened to the album, and like all the songs on it are really good. And a lot of them... I'd heard before but didn't know it was him and one of them was the theme tune for the TV show Extras by Ricky Gervais which was also really cool so I got this because it was like £2.50 on eBay and just while we're talking about it CDs I bought no I didn't buy but I was looking for there's a guy called John Fashenti and he's like one of my favourite musicians um, and you know what this I'll, I'll show you what he looks like because I've got him tattooed on my leg there he is he's a guitarist he was the guitarist for the Red Hot Chili Peppers um, for quite a few years, from about 2000 until about 2008, and a few years in the 90s. And um, other than that, he does his own music, but he's like, you know, he's a bit of a weird guy, and he doesn't just do like normal music, he does really weird music. But there was a few albums that were like normal music, but he didn't release them in America or England, I don't think. It looks like he's only released them in Japan. And uh, I've heard them all before, because some of my friends used to have them. Um, I think they probably had fake copies of them. And you can listen to them on Spotify. Um, so I looked online to buy the CDs, and they're like £30 each, like second hand, because they're coming from Japan. So it's crazy. I'm not going to pay that. <laughs> when I can get it on Spotify for nothing. Which is a bit annoying. I don't understand why he never released it in America or England. It's so weird. He lives in America. I just don't understand. Okay, you guys. We're going to knock it on the head. We're going to go to sleep. We're going to go. We're going to go to sleep. I... 
wanted to have a little chat about the changes in YouTube's monetization scheme and the changes they're doing, but it's a little bit too late for that because I, I, I can't really can't be bothered at the minute. <laughs> so I'm going to be getting into a little chat tomorrow if you're interested in having a little knowing about what's happening with YouTube and what they're changing about their monetization with small YouTube channels. Come back tomorrow and uh, have a little listen. I'll do it in the morning probably straight from the gym, so that'd be fun. That'd be nice. Uh, but otherwise, thank you so much for watching you guys. Hope you had a lovely day. Hope you enjoyed this vlog more than anything. And um, see you again soon for another one, I suppose. See you, baby. Ah, oh, she's just ignoring you. Stop, sorry, bye. Bye, bye guys. Bye. Bye.